We're back. Yep, this is our problem child. Two used compressors and they worked for a couple of days then just locked out. So we got a new one installed. We had to redo the remodel the line. That oil equalizer line had to be redone because it's, well, it's different. Just twisted the pipe around. Vacuum. We recover. After I put the second compressor in, uh, it blew a line out and it blew all the charge out. And when they recharged it, the compressor was stuck. So, probably used stuff, you know, I stay away from it. But, like this runs 24 7, it's gotta be online for a server room. So that's the brand new compressor. That one was new. I installed that about a year and a half ago. And that's the new one. See, 2018 it says, but we're in 2019. So this time, let's see. We don't have any problems. I'm about to close the vacuum soon and start charging. Let's see how it goes. Now it's charging time. Manifolds here is. I don't even look at the pressure, I look at the computer. The computer says 0.80, and that's megapascals. That's about 115 psi, so um, 110 psi, sorry. So I'm almost on, I'm almost on dot with charge. Uh, most of it gets checked with the computer with these zip switches. I know the number is 29 is low pressure. And 28 is high pressure, so it'd be 2.20 megapascals, it's about 300 psi, which is good. So, the number you can't see it really good, but it says 0.81. You can't even see it. But, C29 is the option on this, on this brand to check everything. I have it on test mode, which is switch 5. Number 1 stays up, and I'll test in cooling mode. Let's close the gauge and I'll just compare. I'll just use to compare, but I actually do use the reading. We're right on the money. 081, we're almost there. You can use the 40 degree rule here, the saturation rule. Uh, this automatically does Superheat and subcooler will calculate it. It's got sensors everywhere. So I don't have to worry about that, those readings. But you just look at your high side, which should be about 2.20 megapascals, which is that 300 PSI I'm looking for at my 80 degree day. It's tropics here, so I don't have to worry about it. 81, so I'm looking good. I'm almost there. All right, so it's 081, so I'm on the money there. So, so 39 degree saturation and we're gonna keep the charge for 110 so I'm good. And that AC I'm good here. This is the list of parameters for the computer. Number 20 would be your amperage for your compressor one, 21 for your compressor two. 28 is my high pressure for the system. 29 is low, it's a megapascal, so I have the converter unit. And the C35 to C45 would be to check the errors to see if I, so I can find out which failure it is before I get the code on the, before the machine gives me the code, so I can find these. It says one on it, it has three spaces. The other one is the error, and it'll tell me which which one fails. So I don't have to be. So I don't have to be. Thirty nine will be for the inverter. Forty will be for your low pressure. Forty one will be for your compressor start, and forty two also. Forty two is that when you get E forty two, that means your compressor or refrigerant charge, and all these. Motor 
these are for motors, for the condenser motors. IPM for your inverter, for your inverter module. If I have that error, I know the inverter module has a problem. And these are all the other, all the other I can check, I can check for. So that's how I navigate. It's not 